and I see. Arthur and his mom return from the store with groceries. DW wastes no time criticizing their selections. Maybe next time you can drive to the store and buy whatever you want with your money. Arthur describes DW as a picky eater because you can't say fickle bitch on PBS. DW lists out all the food she doesn't like, with spinach being at the top of the list. She also lists the food she does like, including PB&J, ice cream, and hot chocolate mixed with her brother's tears. The next night, the Reed family goes out to dinner. DW refuses to eat her salad begging the question, why did she order it in the first place? DW realizes it's made with spinach and instantly loses her shit. This is spinach, and I hate spinach! Then why did you ask for it? DW launches her dinner onto the waiter, making him quit on the spot. And let me tell you, I used to work the graveyard shift at a Burger King, and getting an employee to quit in the middle of their shift is no small feat. The Reeds get kicked out of the restaurant. They return home where Grandma Thora is babysitting Kate. Looks like the Reed parents brought the wrong baby to dinner. DW is grounded. Finally! <laughs> Mrs. Reed makes it clear DW will not be going to any more restaurants anytime soon, including Grandma Thora's birthday dinner. Grandma Thora says she doesn't want to go out to dinner without DW. It just wouldn't be a happy birthday if DW wasn't there. Bullshit! Arthur worries he'll never get to do anything fun without his sister, including going to Jupiter. Which doesn't make any sense because Jupiter is an uninhabitable gas giant. And Arthur would know that if his teacher spent more time teaching instead of lusting after Mr. Reed in his pastry sack. Arthur has six days to completely change DW's personality. But unlike the book where DW realizes what she's missing out on and decides to change on her own, Arthur chooses to trick her instead. He fools her into eating a peanut butter and jelly sandwich filled with spinach, causing her to barf directly onto the camera. Gross. It's two days until Grandma Thora's birthday, and all of Arthur's plans have failed miserably. Arthur says he has no choice but to resort to Plan X. <laughs> Arthur pretends to call Grandma Thora to make DW think they're going to the restaurant after all. DW changes her mind once she realizes her family might have fun without her and begs her parents to let her come. The Reed family celebrate Grandma Thora's birthday at the Once Upon a Restaurant which looks like a child's dream and a building inspector's nightmare. DW almost immediately tries to back out of her promise to her parents. I hope they have peanut butter and chili sandwiches without spinach. I thought you were going to try something new and eat it all. Oh, yeah. Their food is served by waiters dressed as the three bears, which is a weird costume when you remember bears are people in this world. And also bears. DW orders the Little Bo Peep Pop Pie. Her family waits with bated breath for her inevitable tantrum. Thankfully, DW loves the pot pie, which, surprise, surprise, consists mostly of spinach, and not lamb, as the name of the dish would imply. DW tries to gaslight her family into thinking she loved spinach the whole time. Let's review. DW refused to eat anything that wasn't sweet and sugary. She made a scene at a restaurant which resulted in their waiter quitting his job in the middle of the dinner shift. She publicly embarrassed her family and got them banned from the restaurant. She put Grandma Thor's birthday dinner in jeopardy and refused to change her eating habits until she thought her family might enjoy a nice meal without her. She only agreed to eat spinach by being tricked into doing so, and then tried to gaslight her family once she realized she actually liked it. So remember kids, she's a pain in the rump who eats what she wants. She's DW, the Thunder Cunt. F-U-D-W. And I see. So when I was working at Burger King, our manager actually got fired, and the story I heard was that someone caught him peeing in the breakfast gravy. So yeah, next time you're at Burger King, avoid the biscuits. Next time on FUDW. Arthur, Pal just went down the stairs without holding onto the handrail. How can Pal use the handrail? He doesn't even have hands. <laughs>